One of the things America inherited from another country was the concept of the duel. So if someone challenged your honor, you had the ability to challenge them to a duel, meaning you would send them a note saying in three days you and I are going to fight. Now there would be a mediator between the two trying to bring about reconciliation before the duel date. Now either side could apologize and let bygones be bygones, but if they made no progress in this before the duel date then they would go on ahead and have the duel. Now let's say for example you lived during this time and you had one gun with six bullets inside and that's all the ammo you had and ten people challenged you to a duel. Could you accept all those duels? What if one duel takes two bullets? Now you really have to decide which one of these am I going to fight and which one of these am I going to just let go. This is how things should be in marriage. Pretend like you're a lone ranger and all you have is six bullets and pick your battles wisely. Not everything is a big deal that you should, that you should fight about. One of the things my dad taught me before I got married was if it's not going to affect your livelihood, you may want to let it go. Right? If it's not going to really cause any sort of major impact on how you do things, then consider letting that issue go. Right? So your spouse grew up on whatever side of the earth they grew up on, and they're automatically going to do things differently than you. And people don't change just that easily. So um, you know, if something major comes up that's going to affect your life, such as where to live, um, what mosque to go to, where to put your kids in school, by all means, use a bullet. But if it's not something that's going to affect your livelihood, you know, how to, how to arrange the spices in the spice rack, um, how often to do laundry, what color should the pots and pans be, all that kind of stuff, let that stuff go. Okay. Um, now, you have to realize that you may not win all the big fights, just like you may not win all the small ones. But following this rule of picking your battles will automatically cause you less stress in your relationship. Someone once said that if someone is dying, seriously hurt, or in serious danger, it's a big deal. Otherwise, it's not. Brother Q, signing off. Assalamu alaikum.